Before I joined the company, as I was exploring what my next opportunity would be, I started calling physicians who had used Shockwave, and I had never heard the kind of reaction to any device I've been associated with in the past 30 years. They all said the same things like, it's remarkable, there's no learning curve, I've never seen anything work this way, and after about the 10th call, I realized I have to take this job. IVL is an acronym, stands for intravascular lithotripsy. It's essentially allowing sound or acoustic waves to break up calcification in arteries. People are living longer, also means more and more patients have really dense, challenging calcium. IVL is taking sonic pressure waves, delivering them at very low pressure inside of a balloon through the tissue, and having them be absorbed by the hard calcium and create shear stress inside the calcium and as a result, fracture the calcium. You take uh, the analogy of a hard boiled egg. You roll it onto a countertop and you create these micro fractures. When you tap on the egg, it's soft and compliant, but the mass doesn't go anywhere. It stays adhered to that inner membrane. Shockwave IVL is similar to that. The lithotripsy creates cracks in the calcium. It stays within the arterial wall and it doesn't go downstream. It allows you to treat those calcified arteries at very low pressures, which allows you to do it very safely. And it's very effective at opening up the artery and allowing for more blood flow. The reason I joined the company was because this is, for me, a once-in-a-lifetime product to work on. I wanted to go to some place where the physicians were clamoring for the technology and had a high level of credibility. Regardless of the physician you talk to, once they use it, they immediately have an emotional reaction to how easy to use it is and how effective it is as well. There's uh, quite some calcium in the iliacs and we used a emerging technology uh, to do some vessel preparation. Uh, we went there with a seven millimeter shockwave balloon. I think this is one of the most exciting technologies that I've been involved with and um, I've been working in the lab for 15, 20 years now. We do uh, a ballooning to the reference vessel diameter with six atmospheres. Then we deflate and start once again. So now please focus on how the balloon is going up. The first case I saw, the cardiologist was able to treat a patient who was so sick, had such complex disease in several arteries, and yet he was able to very simply and easily manage this patient and had a spectacular outcome. You might have really opened the vessel. The first case that people do where they see a result uh, where the, the mechanism is clear by imaging or they see the balloon, a, a dog bone balloon expanding, that one case convinces people that this is a technology that is going to be available for the long term. I think that's really a fantastic result. Yeah, exactly. There's no flow restriction. Look at that. That's amazing. That's very good. There's not many opportunities you have to work on something that I think can have a legacy, where you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, in interventional medicine, people are still using Shockwave and IVL to treat patients. And if you get a chance to do that, take it. I think the opportunities for Shockwave are really unlimited. We can not only enhance our existing products, but we can create new products to impact people's lives. Making patients have better quality of life, I think, is a very rewarding experience. It's a very noble cause. There's people in my family that have heart disease, so it's personal for me as well. I was at a customer um, in the UK, and UK doctors tend to be a little reserved. Okay, there we go. Press the button and hold. Let's have a look. I think it's actually, I think it's expanded. But it's certainly looking better. When the balloon started opening up at four atmospheres, he was staring at the screen, at the angio screen watching that, and he kind of giggled. Yeah, it's already, it's wow. already started to expand. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. When you see that happen, and the physician and the nurses and the techs see that, everyone is just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we just saw that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Spontaneous round of applause. Uh, I I don't, I don't think we need a randomized control trial for this technology, guys. Just seeing that with the product that I was representing was, was fantastic. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. Oh, we're done. <laughs> I am almost certain that five, ten years from now, we are going to be treating so many different parts of the cardiovascular system and diseases that we aren't even currently contemplating. 
the versatility, safety, and our ability to tune this technology uh, will open up so many doors that we will have a broad portfolio of products that treat the anatomy from the toes up to the brain throughout the cardiovascular system. We can do so much good for so many patients. And if it, as a result, we also create a vibrant, vital enterprise, then everybody wins.